राइटिंग अबाउट बेगम किडवाइस एज हर करियर एज अ सिंगर फुलफिल्ड मोर दैन अ पर्सनल नीड फॉर हर इट गिव हर अ चॉइस टू ट्रैवल एंड लिंगर ऑन ए होटल्स इन बॉम्बे और दिल्ली टू स्पेंड फ्री वीलिंग टाइम विद ओल्ड एंड न्यू फ्रेंड्स एंड म्यूजिशियंस ही सेज दैट शी एन्जॉयड लाफ्टर एंड इमोशन एज मच एज शी एन्जॉयड हर विस्की और द फिफ्टी ऑड अनफिल्टर्ड सिगरेट्स शी स्मोक्ड इन अ डे एंड बींग इन इन क्यूरेबल रोमांटिक शी वॉज प्रोन टू ग्रेट डैलियंसिस एंड कैरिड ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ दिस आउटसाइड लखनऊ and she was known to be a very great heartbreaker so welcome to our next episode of ode to lovers ode to past where we will continue our conversation about begum akhtar this episode will talk more about her music and what other writer and poets used to think about her she preferred thumri and ghazals these forms of music in hindustani classical music were associated with being as unpure they contain several non brahmin features uh, and the privileged caste men and women held a certain resentment towards this form ghazal was borrowed heavily from arabic persian and turkish and these ghazals they talked of love romance desire longing and everything which was not seen as respectable during that time and she used to perform the ghazals written by poets like daag dhelvi faiz ahmed faiz mirza ghalib jigar 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 muradabadi kafi azmi etc and there was a pleasure and seriousness with the in the way she sang her ghazal i think in many ways it was also a way of her refusing the loneliness that the world assigned her according to an article on himal south asian in queer notes it is said that she made her listeners experience a parallel reality utterly disconnected from everyday life introducing them to a new world for those who were indeed looking for another world or a non normative space she created that space and it is this very disruptive potential of thumri and ghazal that scared dhrupad and other upper caste male musicians and if dhrupad structured the world in pro brahmanic ways thumri and ghazal queered the world queered the world her performances are a reflection of her music and her deep understanding of her poetry for now it is sufficient to say that courtesans of the era not only wrote poetry they also performed it using music and dance and long before the playback singers of the bombay cinema came the first and the greatest recording stars were of courtesy and lineage who sang thumris and ghazals for the gramophone kidwai writes what stuck with me was the way she caressed her notes the way she captivated the audience by making it seem like she was singing for each one of them specifically and sometimes she would address them sit here sit there come come where have you been like that and Salib Kidwai was an openly queer person and talking about the possibility of queer spaces he says that even though Kidwai and Begum Akhtar never really talked about his queerness openly there was a comfortability that existed they both never talked about it yet they both knew about it in his memoir he says some people to some people she was the greatest singer of her time but i don't know about that She had a chutti zameen, a limited nature of music she performed, and she did that with perfection. Then why is it that she is considered more important than any of her contemporaries? I think it's because she sang poetry, which was easily understood. Music was there, rag that he was there, and people who had learnt music would appreciate it. But here, she was also bringing people who could be totally attached to her without being musical people. They could just be attracted to poetry and the way she conveyed romance, particularly longing and heartbreak, as I have said. and she did this more effectively than most the celebrated kashmiri american poet aga shahid ali was instrumental in popularizing ghazals in the west he was influenced by begum akhtar and used to be around her most of the time during the later years of her performances so mostly it was salim kidwa and aga shahid ali who were seen as these two young people who used to roam around with begum akhtar who used to go to her performances and talk with her and uh, Aga Shahid Ali in his book called In Memory of Begum Akhtar which he wrote after the passing away of Akhtar he writes and i who have left 3 decades behind three continents three seas a desperado in search of catastrophe now measure her legend from my sorrow in another beautiful poem in the wild suit he again writes he he creates this picture of begum akhtar and begum akhtar was known at that time for her uh, association and for her love towards the capstan cigarettes and perhaps ali was trying to capture her in that and ali writes 
her picture she smiles she lights the capstan sharp in flame her face dissolves in smoke we have now come to the end of the first episode thank you for listening to us <laughs>